when I went back to Cameroon, I did two things. I, I set up um, the clothing line. I started off by setting up the factory. Hired the same guy who tailored my uniforms when I was two years old. Mm. Still works for me today. Wow. And I empowered him to employ his staff. Mm. He helped me build the clothing line in terms of the operational side in Cameroon. So wait, you own the factory in Cameroon? So yeah. wow, okay, so let's like break that. I mean, you just can't just like gloss over <laughs> that, man. You know what I'm saying? Nah, let's like really speak about that. So now you own the factory in Cameroon, right? So yeah. now you essentially own the supply chain? Yes. It was very important for me, um, given my business acumen to not just be a player, mm. but to be an influencer in many regards. Um, power for me is not about um, having the loudest voice. It's not about um, being able to say, I own or control this, but it's about what you can do with it. Mm. Um, owning the factory allowed me, and I'll give you a very practical example that even I could not have foreseen COVID. Mm. If I didn't own the factory, if the employees didn't work for me directly, um, we would not exist today mm. because we went from having customers here in the US who wore suits every day for work to wearing PJs. <laughs> I mean, at some point, I would, I mean, I own a clothing line. I own so many suits, but I felt more comfortable in my PJs than wearing suits. What more of the average person? Mm. So it, it gave me a flexibility that I otherwise could not have afforded. Mm. I was able to close down when I needed to, reopen when I needed to. Mm. Actually, we closed down in Cameroon a month before the U.S. did. Mm. I had just left Cameroon. My, my mom was supposed to travel behind me. She got stuck in Cameroon because of, of COVID. I was able to tell my staff, this is what's going on. These are the trends. I care about you. I've gotten to meet your families. I am personally invested in you. Mm. Um, and practically speaking, every single person who has worked for me has gone through a life change. Mm. Um, the guy I said used to tailor my clothing when I was a kid was my lead tailor built a house in two years. Wow. He's finally moved in with his family. Um, the other Lee Taylor um, had a new baby. My best friend growing up who was working for me on the admin side got married to a lady he had been dating for 10 years. Wow. They have a child today. Um, I'm not godparent. I mean, we can talk about the, about the pressure that comes with that. You know, that was an unintended consequence from my perspective. But I, I see real change in people's mm. lives. Mm. Um, and wherever this road leads me, I do not know. But that's enough for me to sleep in peace at night. Mm. I understand the change 